all right you guys hey welcome back i got another video for y'all i told y'all i was coming with the videos i'm really coming with the videos i'm gonna be consistent this year so anyways as you can tell from the title i am going to talk about bettering yourself in 2024 oh so, this is something that i feel like i went through and things that i have learned it took me a couple of years to kind of you know for god to kind of just really really shake me and get me to the point where he wanted me a lot of taking accountability and just things that I might have been doing wrong and just being honest with myself and stuff so these are just some of the main things that I feel like will really help anyone that's really trying to better themselves they're just tired of being where they're at they want to grow whether it's with God um grow in their career and just not allow people to move and shake them these are some things that I feel like will help the first thing is, y'all know I'm a strong believer in God as I got my little face shirt on. Getting closer to God, I feel like is number one because God will show you things that you really didn't see and he will show you things that you need to work on that you never even thought of. He will also guide you to be successful, to grow in your um, career, to grow in your life, grow in your relationship, whether that's your spouse or significant other or friend. He will lead you to the path you need to take. You know, getting close to God just is so many benefits in that. He will also give you the strength when things are hard for you. Trust me, when you're trying to switch up things in your life or try new things, things get really, really difficult. God really can be your strength during that time. Trust me, you're going to need something because you're going to feel like you want to give up and everything. And just trusting in God, you will have that peace and that faith to move on. Number two, y'all. Y'all need to forgive. And I know some of y'all think like, oh, I don't care about what other people think. I don't care what they said about me. I don't care this and that. Yeah, okay. But deep down, sometimes it do bother us because then we shade them the next time we see them. Or we we make it a point to post something to shade them and hoping that they seeing it. You know, y'all know what it is. A lot of times, we as people struggle with forgiveness. And... Also, a lot of us don't want to forgive because you think it's for that person, but it's truly for yourself. Truly, truly for yourself. Forgive because when you don't forgive, you're stuck in that unforgiveness and you can't move on with your life. You literally move based off of the things that have happened to you. I don't know if you guys know, but during my soul searching I realized that the person that I thought I was was based off of who people made me to be. And I gave them what they wanted. No lie. <laughs> I'm going to give you what you want. No, <laughs> but I really gave them what they wanted. And I became this person that had walls up, that did not trust people, that felt like, oh, Angela going to say what she got to say. I'm going to say what I got to say because they about to hear that they for not, they're not going to treat me anymore that's how i was like and when you don't forgive you're stuck on that you move like that and you base your life and your relationships in your life off of not trusting people so that's really really big and because of that you never reach your true potential okay so number three is Stop letting fear take over. Fear stops you from growing. You're constantly thinking about what other people think. You're constantly wondering if people will like this. Is this good enough? I struggle with being a perfectionist. And I know some people in my family do too. And a lot of times we waste a lot of things because we feel like it's not good enough. But that kind of is fear stopping us from doing that because we feel like, oh, it's okay to feel like, oh, I can do better. But if you feel like you gave it your all and it's something that you really like, but you're so worried about what other people might think, a lot of times that's just fear getting in the way of feeling like you're not there yet and you really don't start anything. And in return, you don't get anywhere in life. You just really start to waste your time because you're never really starting because you're so worried if it's good enough and what people think. Trust yourself, trust God and do what you gotta do so for me it's like content i am i'm not even gonna lie y'all this is my third time doing this video <laughs> like i said i struggle 
Did I say I struggle or did I say I used to struggle? I don't know. I struggle with being a perfectionist. So this is my third time doing this video. But I said, I'm going to stop there. I'm not, I'm going to stop. Like, I am not going to do this video anymore. This is what it's going to be. And I'm going to put it out there because that's a lot of things that I struggle with. I have what I feel like is good ideas. And this is just me. And this is the truth. Like, everything that I'm saying to you is my truth. So what is holding me back from putting that out? I don't know. Or clearly it's fear of feeling like, well, people won't like what I have to say. But I said this year, I'm going to really, really put things out. So this is the last time I'm doing this video. One of these videos is going to get put out. I don't know if it's this one or another one. But <laughs> if you're watching this, then it's this one. I am not going to allow fear to take over because it's just a tactic to keep you from doing what you really want to do and getting somewhere in life. Always remember that. Number four, enjoy the process. Um, I was reading something and it was talking about like just really enjoying the process. And that's not something I really thought of. For instance, YouTube. I have been on YouTube for years, but I was never consistent. I should be a lot further than what I am now. And I know why, because I wasn't consistent, because I was constantly critiquing myself and not putting things out there. And some of the videos that I feel like I looked like crap and I just put it out there are some of my top videos. If I didn't start, I would never know where to start. And if I didn't fail, I would never know what I needed to work on. And it also, if I didn't fail, I would never have researched to some of the things that I have researched. I have learned so much, even though I'm not where I need to be. I have learned so much in the process. Like if I never did that, I would have never learned a lot of the things that I have learned during this process so i am happy for all the moments that didn't work out things times where i felt like i put my heart into a video and sometimes it just didn't hit for me it doesn't mean my video was crap it just means that i gotta work a little harder to get it pushed out there it's a season for everything and everyone and it just wasn't my season because i needed to work on some things within myself and it also taught me to not compare myself to other people because they had to learn too some people got lucky some people started things like okay so if i'm talking about my youtube some people started youtube when it wasn't a requirement to get a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time so they were able to get money like that everybody has a season and it just wasn't my season at that time i needed to work on some things like i said so i learned to be happy for how far i've came and what i have learned and i know that my time will come okay number five make time for family and friends i have a hard time doing that i was always working i don't know if you guys seen my other video but i have another video coming out about it but the other video was saying that i'm quitting my job i have officially quit my job and i am just solely focusing on content creating and my business which I'm not really making money from neither one of them right now. I allowed the job to take so much time that I also didn't have time for family and friends. And I kind of lost myself in there. I really didn't even have time for my own family in my house. I was constantly working until like 11 o'clock at night from like 7 in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. Um, I tried to shorten my hours, but I was still doing like doubles on the days that I worked. I wasted so much time at that job to where I missed a lot of family events. I basically lost my myself and who I am. I didn't enjoy life. Before I knew it, I started this job when my kids were little and now they're grown except for one child. Don't allow whatever you're doing to take over enjoying life and spending time with family. Life is not long and people are going to pass away and you don't want to be like man i gotta came to this family event and seen this person for the last time or i wish i would have spent more time i wish i would have took more pictures you know you don't want those regrets when things happen so definitely make time for your family and friends those are going to be your biggest supporters and plus if you don't allow time with your family and friends you can't relieve the stress in the everyday life if you're so focused on what you're trying to do 
and your career and you're not making time, then all the stress just builds up. You don't release it. You don't talk to anybody about it. And so I feel like when you spend time with family, you are able to just let go and get out of the business mindset or whatever mindset you are in and just enjoy life and remember why this world is so beautiful. Last and I know y'all heard this in school, but be kind. Be kind to people. That is going to better you in 2024 because people are going to try to get you out of your box. And if you continue to allow them, you're going to be upset with yourself. At least most of us are upset after we allow somebody to take over like that. If you allow them to change who you are, you just let them win. So it's best to be kind in spite of what people are trying to say fight of if people are still trying to take digs at you when you're having a conversation with them. You know, I used to be like, don't play me like I'm stupid. I know what you're talking about. I pick up on everything. I used to be like that or I felt like I need to let them know that I hear you. I don't know why you're talking to me like that. You think you slick. I don't need to say none of that because that is just them trying to get to me to get me out of character. And then they're going to get what they want. I'll be like, see, I knew you was like that. Why do that? Just learn to be kind. Learn to understand that everybody's truth is their truth. And some people, yes, they do lie. But if they're not ready to work on their self and be honest with their selves, still be kind. You might have felt like you didn't do anything wrong and you don't even understand why they're mad or why they're treating you like this. Just understand that people are in different seasons in their life and they're going to have to struggle with that season on their own. But that does not mean that they have to make you struggle with your season so always remember that be kind and we're gonna be better in 2024 because this world needs better and god will be pleased with it if you like this video don't forget to subscribe hit that bell so you'll be notified of any upcoming videos also hit that like button and please please comment below if you have been working on yourself please give me some tips but i'm still a work in progress and probably always will be but I am striving to be better. So thank you for watching this video. I will check y'all out on my next video. Talk to you later.